What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 14.4.2, 14.4 and 14.4.1 jailbreak. A brand new vulnerability has been announced for 14.4.2 which means that it will be released in the near future. So Frida Sandbox posted quote, if you want to run an iOS LPE which means local privilege escalation it's probably wise to stay on 14.4.2. Disclaimer, it's silly because it means that you'll need to stay on a vulnerable version but it is what it is and until the sandbox is freed. So they basically announced that they're going to release an iOS 14.4.2 bug, which means that if you want a jailbreak, you should definitely stay on 14.4.2 or lower. Now the iOS 14.5, which is currently the latest version, does patch a lot of vulnerabilities here. The change log is actually quite full. So there is a lot in here that can potentially be used for a jailbreak, including several kernel vulnerabilities. There also seems to be a WebKit vulnerability here, which has been used in the wild. So they say, quote, process Processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of reports that this issue may have been actively exploited. So there seem to be here quite a lot of vulnerabilities that are usable for a jailbreak. So depending on what this is, we might have the potential to update Uncover or Taurine. But do keep in mind that this is not applying for CheckRain. This video is not at all about CheckRain. It has already been updated. It supports iOS 14.5 and lower on the supported devices, which are basically the iPhone 10 or older, so check rain is not accounted for in this video. The main focus of this video is Taurine jailbreak and Uncovered jailbreak, which are supporting the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12, and so on. So such a vulnerability may be usable to update both Uncover and Taurine and get a jailbreak for all devices. Now, Frida Sandbox here does not provide any sort of information about what kind of vulnerability this is, aside from LPE, which stands for Local Privilege Escalation, but they don't mention if it's in the kernel or webcam or Safari or any other component and many of these vulnerabilities here are capable to execute arbitrary code with privileges so we can know for sure which one is being used at this moment. The security content of 14.5 is definitely huge. However, the best thing that you can do right now is to stay on iOS 14.4.2 or lower if you want a jailbreak on all devices. Of course, if you are already jailbroken, definitely stay where you are. There is also a hint about the WebKit vulnerability being mentioned by Zach here they posted quote iOS 14.5 is out and at least CVE 2021-30661 was exploited in the wild. Reality called to remind us to free the sandbox. By the way free the sandbox is a movement which basically wants to make Apple to open the iOS system a little bit more so that we can do whatever we want for our privacy and our security. It's a pretty noble fight but I don't think Apple will budge. And they also do release vulnerabilities from time to time and also provide security insight. So a pretty great movement I I think it's by Zecops, a security company, but I doubt Apple will budge and I doubt they will change anything in their walled garden. The vulnerability that Zach mentions in here that was patched on 14.5 is the WebKit one, which is basically this one at the bottom, WebKit storage, which says that it has been used in the wild and is capable to get arbitrary code execution. So this one is available for iPhone 6s and newer, so definitely a powerful one that can be triggered from the browser. So this does have the potential to be pretty useful. However, there are several kernel vulnerabilities in here that could be useful and two of them are actually coming from the Pangu team. But for now, the best practice would be to wait for Uncover to be updated or for Torin to be updated once any of these vulnerabilities get dropped. So I'm going to keep you updated, but yeah, iOS 14.4.2 definitely looks great and you should keep in mind that iOS 14.4.2, 14.4.1 and 14.4 basically share kind of the same vulnerabilities. So the kernel vulnerabilities will very likely work from one to another, which means that if you're running 14.4 or 14.4.1 you're on a good version but you can still update the 14.4.2 because it's still signed however it's definitely great to stay on a lower version for now so yep thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out